good morning students uh, uh, today uh, i am going to you know work on the second uh, uh, no program so that is uh, finding the largest uh, number uh, in a given array okay so the objective is you know finding uh, uh, the you know the largest uh, element okay so largest number so this is the you know uh, objective so how we do uh, this particular task let us define this particular problem in uh, the micro uh, controller and microprocessor level so let uh, let us uh, evolve the logic the logic is very simple you know you have a uh, external uh, you know uh, memory so what is our objective finding a largest element uh, in an array which is present in the external memory okay so like how we did in uh, the you know the sum of n numbers so similarly so we stored that particular external uh, you know uh, data okay in ram so in the 8000 memory location we are you know uh, storing the count number okay so 0a means 10 okay so we are going to find out the 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 largest element among 10 numbers so that is the objective from 8001 onwards okay so 8001 onwards the number will start so okay say for example you know uh, 32 okay 64 okay so 0 5 like this so the array will continue so there are uh, 10 numbers are there okay so 10 numbers are there so then what we are what we have to do so then after you know finding the largest element okay the next uh, the the immediate next location in the external memory we are going to place the largest element okay so we are going to place the largest element in that particular memory space okay so that is that is the you know objective uh, what we are you know uh, planning so to do this particular uh, task what we do like you know so this is your microcontroller which is in you know uh, microcontroller which is interface to this particular memory so with uh, the 16 bit address line and 8 bit uh, uh, data line and uh, what we'll do first we'll take this particular you know uh, count value to some register say um, you know or not okay so let us take this particular you know count value to the uh, register or not then uh, you know uh, at that particular time your dptr will be you know uh, pointing to 8000 okay 8000 and then uh, you'll uh, take this particular count value to r1 then you move this particular you make this uh, dptr as 8001 okay then it will be pointing to the first number then take this first number to your accumulator okay and uh, you know uh, and then go for the next number okay so uh, then uh, compare uh, the first element with the you know the second element in an array okay so whenever the uh, you know uh, element you know is uh, 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 greater then what you can do you can reset one register so that largest number may be, you know, uh, maybe R1 register. So initially you just make that, uh, you know, as FF. Okay. So the uh, highest number in the microcontroller, whenever uh, the number, you know, uh, you know, uh, what, what you do, uh, sorry, sorry, largest, right? So make it zero, zero. So whenever the fixed number is greater than this particular zero, zero, then reset this particular, uh, you know, uh, r1 register okay reset this particular r1 register that basically holds the largest number okay so go up to the last number okay go up to the last number after reaching the last uh, element okay so uh, stop your uh, you know iteration then move the content of uh, you know move the content of uh, r1 register to the uh, you know then uh, the next memory location immediately after after that particular array so this is the logic what we are uh, trying to you know uh, execute uh, the 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 objective is finding the largest element uh, largest element in the array present in the external memory okay so this is the basic, this is the logic what we are going to use okay hope uh, you are clear on this particular aspect so let me uh, write a program for this okay so let me write a program for this uh, so now i am just opening the sim simulator i am just opening the simulator so now uh, let me take a new program 
So now, uh, what is the idea? Let me implement uh, the, the logic uh, in uh, the microprocessor. See, uh, I think, uh, what is this program? Okay, this program is basically, you know, uh, finding uh, uh, largest uh, element, correct? Largest element. So this is the program. Okay, so then what I'll do, uh, you may be knowing up at this particular point, what is uh, ORG 800H. That means the, the code will be stored in the code memory starting with this particular uh no uh address okay so code memory address also you know span from 0002 fffff similarly the data memory also spans from 0002 uh, uh fffff so now uh what i'll do what is my first objective i need to you know uh, take the uh first element the count value so for that so initiate this particular dptr to 8000 memory location so where the data is present now you are you know you are initializing the data pointer in the microcontroller as 8000h okay now take that particular data so to, to take that particular data from external memory we use movex okay we move use movex a comma rtptr so now at this particular point what happened the data present in 8000 memory location came to accumulator okay so then what will what i'll do i'll you know uh, uh, take a backup of that particular count value in uh, r not okay r not register so my first task is completed what is that uh, uh, the count value okay uh, count value taken to count value is r not now okay so count value i just st stored in the r not register for this i need to execute this much in three instruction then after that, what I have to do? Let me initialize the you know largest element, okay? That is R1 as you know uh, 00, you know uh, 00H. That means you know uh, initialization of this particular largest element as 00. So one by one from the external memory, I'll take and uh, if that uh, first element is greater than this uh, this uh, R1 value, then I will reset this particular R1 register. That is my idea. So now uh first element i need to take okay at this particular point you may be knowing so currently the dptr is pointing to okay so uh, the 8000 memory location if you use increment dptr what happens the it will point to 8001 register where the first element is present in our uh, program okay so now i incremented dptr then what i'll do i'll take the element from the external memory for that what i have to use i have to use movex at dptr so now what happens the first element okay from 8001th memory location will be taken to accumulator now here what we have to do so we have to compare the accumulator content with r1 okay so here you have to uh, you know it's it's kind of if else uh, statement i am trying to implement okay i am trying to implement the if else statement okay so what is that if else statement okay so if okay a uh, no, uh, a greater than R1, then R1 is equal to R1 is equal to uh, a. So that is what I have to do. Otherwise, don't do anything to R1. Let it be as it is. So to do that one, so I have to do uh, some logic here. The logic is okay. So uh, you know, I'll just subtract. Okay, I'll just subtract. Uh, you know, a and r r1 okay i'll just subtract a and r1 so here what happens okay here uh, a is equal to a minus r1 okay a is equal to a minus r1 now uh, let me take this particular example assume that your first memory location is 32 okay if that is the case okay so what happens a is equal to a is equal to so what is the data present 32 minus what is r1 previously 00 now uh, so as a consequence what happens okay when you do this you can observe here okay so the accumulator content will become 32 one thing and most important control here is see in this particular subtraction operation there is no carry can you uh, can you uh, uh, understand here so there is no carry that means carry uh, is zero okay in the case when the content of accumulator is uh, you know less and r1 content is more 
you will get carry one you got it so uh, this is how you know uh, you can compare two numbers okay doing subtraction operation okay by observing the carry in the microcontroller carry bit in the microcontroller so you can you can uh, you can you can create that particular if and else uh, statement in microcontroller now after doing that what i'll do there is one instrument uh, you know uh, instruction okay uh, decrement decrement and jump on no carry okay so what is what you have to decrement you have to decrement or not okay decrement or not then okay jump uh, where you have to jump you have to uh, loop what is that loop statement okay so here uh, jump on uh, no carry sorry not decrement so now what i'll do i'll use one more instruction jump on uh, jump on so when i have to uh, exchange when i have to exchange uh, mm, when i have to uh, no uh, uh, set okay reset r1 whenever there is a uh, there is uh, no carry correct okay then i have to reset correct jump on no carry so or you know uh, jump jump on uh, jump on no carry so if uh, carry is there okay if carry is there okay uh, if carry is there then you have to uh, you know uh, you have to reset r1 register so now jump on carry so if now in this particular example so carry is equal to 0 carry is equal to 0 so then you have to reset okay uh, then you have to reset okay so uh, jump on no carry to uh, skip what you have to skip you have to skip exchanging okay you have to skip exchanging what is that exchanging so move move r1 comma a okay r1 comma a so the the, the content of the particular memory location you have to you know uh, keep a backup in the accumulator okay so this particular uh, you know thing you have to skip if you if you you know if you don't get a carry okay uh, you have to uh, skip if you get a carry the next instruction will be executed okay so what is that uh, uh, next instruction next instruction is uh, decrement uh, decrement and jump on no zero so what you have to decrement the count value and go to loop okay go to loop so this one you have to execute where you have to go you have to come here okay so you have to come incrementing dptr uh, you know uh, place okay so now here you have to uh, here you have to uh, run now see here uh, the uh, here i uh, know logically uh, this program is fine okay and after that what you have to do so uh, you have to you know uh, increment uh, data pointer okay increment data pointer then what is our task uh, move the you know move the uh, the result largest element okay largest element in the external memory to move to the external memory you will use move x at dptr comma a okay at dptr comma a so uh, you know this instruction you have to use and after moving that you just have to end okay so this is what we we have to do now here a lot of you know issues are there what is that issues let us address one by one okay so count came and initialization is done when it went to the in went inside a loop you can see here the a value is got changed okay the difference value is there okay so now we, when you execute this particular uh, you know move a1 r1 comma a then what happens that you know that uh, the difference value you are you know storing actually you have to store the number fetched from the external memory for that what i'll do i'll just keep a backup okay so backup of accumulator in the you know r2 register before you know uh, uh, before uh, executing that subtract subtract instruction so that means what happens uh, uh, this is basically backup backup of uh, a so that means you know uh, in r2 register you are saving a now that uh, number is preserved number is preserved whenever you are copying whenever you are copying uh, that particular data so you just have to take the backup 
of that particular number to accumulate a, then you have to move to R1. Now you are logically correct. That means actual number you are moving to the R1 register. R1 register. That is what you have to understand. So now you took a backup in uh, and uh, of your content to uh, what is that? Uh, uh, A register. Uh, sorry, uh, R2 register. Okay. So. Uh, no, then what you do uh, here also the same uh, issue is there after incrementing DPTR. Okay, after incrementing uh, the DPTR, okay, so it is pointing to the largest uh, memory. Okay, so anyway, uh, mm, so what we will do, okay, so uh, so this particular taking uh, the element to the back, uh, you know, uh, this particular part, so we will, you know. Uh, We'll execute you know, before this particular instruction. Okay, so that you know, uh, for if block as well as uh, uh, for you know, else block, for both it should be applicable. So, you know, uh, move the content of R2 to R2 to, uh, you know, accumulator. So, just you know, uh, uh, you know the, so the number you just uh, preserving. Okay. So backup you are now uh, restore. Okay, so this is basically restore of that particular number to accumulator. Okay, so restore that particular number to accumulator. Now this is the program. This is uh, this is actually I think uh, everything is done. So now you can see here uh, the program is completed. Let us you know uh, execute this particular program. Okay, which is uh, the largest element in a given array. Okay. So now I'll I'll just go to run mode. I'll just go to run mode. Then I am just uh, saving this as you know uh, largest. Okay, so largest element. And uh, then you know you know you may be knowing you just have to enable the external memory. Okay, so in external memory, what you 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 are trying to do? So let let me go to this eight thousand memory, and uh, let me store you know. Uh, uh, zero a okay ten element okay now randomly store some number okay so some numbers are there okay some numbers are there okay so I just stored some numbers zero one zero two zero five zero six zero nine and so on so now in this particular array you can observe that first element is zero a is count and after that you can see our uh, our largest element is zero nine okay so there is uh, the, the the what you should get in the last uh, memory location you should get 09 okay so after executing this particular program you should get 09 in the last memory location after the array 09 largest element should store in the external memory okay so that is the idea okay so uh, let us logically see this particular program whether it is running or not so now you can see here i'll just run now dptr is 8000 okay the content of DPTR that is 0A came to accumulator. Okay, then the accumulator content is uh, taken to R0. R0 is a count now. Now uh, R1 is 00, zero initialization of uh, that particular, you know, largest element as 00. zero. Then increment DPTR now 8001. Take the first number that is 01 to accumulator. Then uh, you can see here the 01 is, uh, you know, backed up to R2 register. And here you can see here subtraction subtraction of a comma r1 okay so when you uh, execute that particular thing a comma r1 in this particular case 0 1 minus 0 0 that is answer is 0 1 only that will be stored in our uh, uh, accumulator then now whatever the content of you know that difference value you should not get but uh, the backed up value you should uh, store in accumulator so 0 1 will come to accumulator then now e at this particular point you have to be uh, very careful now you see jump on no carry. Okay, in this particular operation, you can clearly see there is no carry. Okay, so then uh, what you have to do, you just have to uh, skip, uh, no, jump on no carry. Okay, so uh, skip. So then, okay, okay, uh, skip. Uh, air, no, 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 no. Okay, jump on no carry. Uh, skip okay no uh, yeah okay uh, jump on no carry uh, skip 
yeah no sorry sorry here uh, there is one issue okay i'll just uh, it is not jump on no carry if there is a carry okay if there is a carry uh, then only skip okay then only skip okay don't uh, uh, change anything in the accumulator so i'll just uh, modify now you see here i'll just run this program okay uh, take a count value to r not done zero a then increment count value take the first number first number is backed up to uh, r2 now here you see here jump on carry to skip now there is no carry then what it has to do it has to execute next instruction correct okay so jump on carry so if carry is there then it will skip now you can see here the next instruction is uh, executed okay so uh, just a second i think uh, the issue is uh, i just have to you know uh, you just have to uh, clear okay uh, uh, clear carry okay so whatever you know earlier if any uh, carry is there you just have to you know uh, clear it okay let me run first number came and uh, the backup number is taken to accumulator okay and then uh, at this particular point what it has to do so that 0 1 should come to yeah 0 1 uh, should come to r1 r1 register yeah 0 1 came to r1 register so then uh, it will go there and it will execute let's take uh, 0 2 now 0 2 will come to uh, r2 because that is the largest now next uh, iteration 0 t uh, 0 3 uh, should come to zero, 0 uh yeah 05 okay not zero, 03 zero, 05 uh, now uh, next element is now uh, whatever you know in array if you observe this particular uh, thing yeah whenever you know after 9 there should not be you know uh, exchange okay now see uh, 9 okay 9 copy to uh, r1 register then now here onwards you can observe here in the external memory the numbers are lesser okay numbers are lesser now uh, you can uh, see here okay the number 03 there is now you can observe here in this particular case you will get a carry if you get a carry don't do anything correct don't do anything now can you see here it skips that particular move r1 comma a instruction okay it's skipping then it goes there and uh, you can observe here that 9 is intact after this 9 is intact okay it will now you have to observe r0 r0 is 0 1 so now r0 is 0 0 it is coming out of the uh, you know uh, loop and uh, then it is storing the data to the external memory it is storing the data to external memory yeah 0 4 is coming to uh, 0 4 is coming to uh, the you know uh, this memory location that should not happen so what what went wrong um so a you are uh, restoring uh, yeah 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 what you have to store you should uh, store the you know uh, r1 r r1 right so that means you have to move that r1 content to accumulator okay so that is basically the largest element correct okay so now uh, let me you know uh, animate this particular program so let me animate so animate or run both uh, it should work so after uh, the end uh, after executing this uh, program you can see 09 came and after the array so that ensures that it is finding the largest element uh, in a given array so this program uh, you should uh, you should do uh, in uh, today's lab okay so uh, hope uh, you are clear so right uh, uh, if you have any uh, clarification please uh, you know uh, mail me i'll just uh, reply okay thank you